All right, everybody. Here's another attempt at all new game show game runs, which I'm gonna need all the help I can get with this one. I've picked Jeopardy Sports Edition for the Sega Game Gear. Let's see how I do. All right, let's see how I do. This is the Sports Edition, which I haven't done since Game Every Day in October. And I'm going to be him again, as I take on Jill. And you guys are welcome to help out if you want, although it is not mandatory. The categories are football terms, home games, hodgepodge, basketball potpourri, manufacturers, and finally, most in a season. I'm going to start with basketball potpourri for 100. It's former NBA superstar Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's favorite shot. What is a skyhook? A skyhook? All right. I'll take your word for it, Steve. Trust me. I trust you. That is correct. Thank you. I'll take basketball potpourri for 200. The NBA's Houston Rockets play their home games in this arena. I believe it's the Astrodome. I'm going to say what is the Astrodome. I don't think that's it. Oh, it's not? Okay, uh, what is it? I think it's the Summit. S-U-M-M-I-T. The Summit. Okay, I'll go with that. It is the Summit. Thank you. You saved me. No problem. Save me on that one. Okay, uh, basketball potpourri for 300. The number of square feet that an NBA backboard measures. Ooh. It's kind of a tricky one. Not good with math. <laughs> That's okay. No worries. 24 square feet. That's all right. That's, that's kind of a tough one anyway, so let's move on. Basketball potpourri 400. His number one recreational sports video was titled Always Showtime. Don't think it's Michael Jordan. Don't think it's him. Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson, Always Showtime. Okay. Let's call out the category. This NBA team hired Jerry Tarkanian as coach. Jerry Man. Tarkanian, I've never heard of him. I have, but I don't know which team it is. It's the San Antonio Spurs. Ah, a Texas ah. team. Looks like I just learned something as well. <laughs> Alright, new category. Let's take a hodgepodge for 100. This British skating duo's first names are Jane and Christopher. Hmm. Well, let's see if uh, Jill knows this any better than I do. Torville and Dean. I have never heard of them. That is okay. We're going on. Hodgepodge for 200. All right, let's find out the category here. The number of points needed to win a game of table tennis. I used to play this at summer camp every year, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Can't be 21. Oh, it is 21, huh? The one I didn't wow, think, the one I didn't think it would be, but <laughs> eh. It's been over a decade since I've been to summer camp, so... Yeah. <laughs> Hodgepodge for 300. This sport always... This sport allows a player to lift, clean, and place. Lift, clean, and place. What is redneck spanking? I don't know. <laughs> That's obviously not it. Uh, Jill buzzes in. Oh, it's golf. Oh. Golf. Okay. 
shows you how much oh, I know about golf. Since when was redneck spanking a sport? Um, since now. <laughs> okay. No, just kidding, just kidding. Next clue. A lifesaver should use this swimming stroke during a hair or chin carry. A lifesaver should use this swimming stroke during a hair or chin carry. I have a hunch. I have a hunch, but I'm not sure. Nope, Jill doesn't know. I think it might be the breaststroke. No, it's the side stroke. I would have been wrong. I wouldn't have gotten it right. That's okay. Let's close out HodgePodge, shall we? This Royal Equestrian was Britain's BBC Sports Personality of the Year in 71. Uh, it's a horse, but I don't know who it was. Princess Anne. Oh. Oh no, it wasn't a horse, it was someone else. Okay. Next category. Football terms for 100. Here we go. A legal pass intercepted and downed in the end zone. Legal pass intercepted and downed in the end zone. It's a touchback. Touchback. Never heard of that, so that's okay. Football terms for 200. The gap in the line between the weak side tackle and the split end. These are not easy. And it's the slot. Okay. Next clue. Football terms for 300. The spacing between the offensive linemen is referred to as this. I don't know. The split. Split. Next. Football terms for 400. A player in his first season of pro ball who has not been on any other roster. A rookie. Rookie. All right, last clue in that category. Daily Double. So this one is for Jill. She's going to wager $356. When a quarterback is brought down for a loss of yardage while attempting a pass, and it's a sack. So she takes the lead with $556. Three categories remain. Where do we go now? Home games for $100. All right, here we go. This pro football team plays home games in Joe Robbie Stadium. Oh, who are the Miami Dolphins? Yes. Because I know Joe Robbie Stadium is in uh, Miami. Right. So, yep, who, what are the Miami Dolphins? That's correct. <laughs> That's correct. I haven't solved the puzzle yet. <laughs> and I got it right. Home games for 200. This college basketball team plays its home games in the Rosemont Horizon. Oh, that's in Illinois, I think. Uh, college. Um. Well, uh, Jill decides to buzz in. Let's see if she knows it. Nope. She got it wrong. Pika Rupa. <laughs> Thank you.
DePaul. Oh, DePaul. Right. That's all right. Home games for 300. The Milwaukee Brewers play their home games in this stadium. What is County Stadium? County Stadium. All right. Not County Stadium. Ooh, sorry. It's okay. That's maybe all right. I, maybe, I, maybe I'd be more specific. I don't know. Well, let's find out. So I thought that was their home. Well, Jill buzzes in. Let's see if she gets it right or wrong. Sorry. Nope, she didn't. It is Milwaukee County Stadium. Uh, yeah, I had to be more specific. That's all right. Oh, well. She drops down to $56. <laughs> wow. All right, we'll take uh, home games for 400. This NFL team plays its home games in the world's largest indoor stadium. I think it's the New Orleans Saints. That's Superdome. who I was thinking too, because of the the Superdome. Yep. So that's what I'm gonna go with the New Orleans Saints. It is the New Orleans Saints. Uh-huh. Hey. Yep, because of the Superdome. That's right. All right, let's close out the category. This NBA team started playing home games in the Delta Center in 1991. The Delta Center? Yeah. Ooh. Kind of a tricky one. Don't have it. The Utah Jazz. Oh, right. Okay. Utah Jazz. That's all right. I wouldn't have gotten that myself. So, moving on. Let's take manufacturers for 100. Hillary and Bradsby make this famed bat. I'm going to say what is the Louisville Slugger. Yeah, I think it is. So, that's what I'm going with. Hey, Marty. If he's still there. You might have stepped away. Yeah. It is a Louisville Slugger. I'll just go ahead and sing it. I'm getting cocky. I'm getting cocky. I'm getting cocky. La 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 la. <laughs> Manufacturers for 200. This brand tells golfer. This brand tells golfers it's the longest ball. Uh, what is that? This brand tells golfers it's the longest ball. And Jill's going to try it. Top flight. Oh, of course. <laughs> Jill got it right. <laughs> Manufacturers for 300. Titleist increased these to 384 in 1982. Dimples. Dimples. Hmm. Yeah, on uh, golf balls, I believe. Manufacturers for 400 This company supplies hoops for the annual World Hula Hoop Contest. I think I know. I'm not sure. You know what? I think I'm going to try it. I think I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna say what is Whammo. Okay. I just got a brand new VH. Oh yeah, what is it? Yeah. Great Muppet Caper. Yay! Yay. Manufacturer's 500. Three VHS. Daiwa, Shakespeare, and Stren make equipment for this sport. Jill. 
missing. All right, we have one category left, which is most in a season. Here we go. Most in a season for 100. This Oiler quarterback had the most pass attempts in a single season with 655 in 1991. Oh, I think I know it. Uh, Who do you think it is? Warren Moon. He would have been right. Uh, That's okay. Wasn't 100%. That's alright. Most in a season for 200. This Packer scored the most points in a single season with 176 in 1960. Uh, don't know. Who is Marty Bingle? <laughs> no, Paul Horning. Paul uh, Horning. <laughs> and I got away with that. Mm. Most of the season for 300. This Redskin had the most touchdowns in a single season with 24 in 1983. Oh, I don't know if it's right. Uh... Were you thinking of John Riggins? No, I was not. Because that's who it was. Alright, because that's who it was. John Riggins. Most okay. in a season for 400. He gained the most yards rushing in a season with 2,105 as a Ram in 1984. Jill buzzes in. Uh, oh, I think I know it too. Were you thinking of Eric Dickerson? Yes, I was. That's who it was. One clue left, and then we'll go to Double Jeopardy. Hey, Tiger. This dolphin passed for the most yards in a season with 5,084 in 1984. Who's Dan Marino? Oh yeah, Dan Marino. And if he's the one, that'll put me at $1,500. Yep, so I'm at 1500 while Jill has $1,156, so she'll go first in double jeopardy. Where do we start, Jill? Baseball for 200. Here we go. The first baseball team to pay players an average salary of over $700,000. Who are the New York Yankees? All right. By the way, hey, uh, Marty. Or did he step away again? He must have, I guess. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm getting cocky. I'm getting cocky. I'm getting cocky. La 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 la. Aubrey. Yes? Red next thing. Oh crap. Ow, 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 ow. And New York Yankees is correct, by the way. Uh, what other category? I just, huh? I just realized that the, um, uh-huh. Basketball potpourri, logos, football players, origins, and 1987 are the other categories. But I'm going to stick with baseball for 400. A, a baseball player must have 40 of each of these to be a 40-40 man. What are doubles and homers, home runs? Um, is it doubles or home runs? Du doubles and home runs. Doubles and home runs? All right. Yes. Doubles and home runs it is. No, it's not doubles and home runs, actually. What? Hmm. Yes, it is. Well, let's let's see. Let's see what happens. Wait a minute. Well, Jill's gonna buzz in. Let's see if she gets it or not. It is... Homers and stolen bases. 
Oh, stolen base. Oh my god, I read it wrong. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. No horn gun. Uh, oh man. That's all right. Okay. We're going on to the next clue. Baseball for six hundred. Major League pitchers committed this 416 times in the first 544 games of 88. Ooh. They committed a bulk. A oh, bulk, yeah. Yeah, bulk. That's all right. Next clue. 800. The first baseball team Tom Seaver tried to pitch for. Mm. Who are the Texas Redneck Spankings? <laughs> That's obviously Wrong. not right. The New York Mets. Oh, uh, that's what I was thinking of. I didn't think it would be them. Okay. That's all right. Let's close out the category. The number of scoreless innings played the 87 All-Star Game. That's a tough one. Well, Jill decides she wants to ring in. Does she know? It's 13. 13 scoreless innings. That's all right. We're going on to the next category. Basketball potpourri for 200. I wonder if it's going to be the same clues we had in the Jeopardy round. The this part of Larry Bird's anatomy caused him to quit basketball. What is his back? All right. So it's not going to be the same clues as the Jeopardy round, but that's okay with me. Basketball potpourri for 400. The NBA Coach of the Year Award is named after this Boston Celtics fix fixture. Oh. Well, Jill buzzes in. She's got a $1,056 lead over me. She doesn't know. It's Red Auerbach. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Red Auerbach, okay. okay. Basketball potpourri for 600. This Lakers guard broke the NBA record for career assists in April 1991. Who is Magic Johnson? That's who I'll say. Magic Johnson. It's Magic. It is indeed Magic Johnson. Now I only trail Jill by fifty-six dollars. Wow. Basketball potpourri for eight hundred. The name of Orlando's NBA franchise. The Magic. All right. <laughs> and that's going to put me in the lead. Basketball potpourri a thousand. Sapperstein's heirs sold this sports team for over three million dollars. Abe Sapperstein, Saperstein's heirs sold this sports team for over three million dollars. No clue. Well, Jill's gonna try it. Let's see if she knows it. Ah ha! She doesn't know. Ah uh ha! -huh. <laughs> you just lost an opportunity to steal my lead, Jill. Too bad. And you fail. Miserably. It's the Harlem Globetrotters. Oh, wow. Harlem Globetrotters. Wow. Who'd have thought? Four categories left. Which one do I want? 
Football players for 200. He used the USFL in rushing yards in its inaugural 1983 season. He led the USFL in rushing yards in its inaugural 1983 season. Jill. Herschel Walker. Oh. Yep, and I know he was on Celebrity Apprentice in 2009, but got fired. Football players for 400. Bum Phillips once checked a football for helium after his points. After his punts, excuse me. Bum Phillips once checked a football for helium after his punts. Ray Guy. Ray Guy. Never heard of him. So on to the next clue we go. Football players for 600. The quarterback of this team predicted their upset of the Colts in the 1969 Super Bowl. Ooh. Don't know this one. Let's see if Jill does. The New York Jets. Ah, oh, New York team, huh? Football players for 800. The Texas legislator de de legislature declared him an official legend along with Davy Crockett. Texas legislature declared him an official legend along with Davy Crockett. Earl Campbell. Earl Campbell. Oh. Next clue. Football players a thousand. This Kansas uh, RB averaged 6.5 yards a carry over three seasons of college play. That's Kansas running back, I should say. He averaged 6.5 yards a carry over three seasons of college play. Gail Sayers. Gail ah. Sayers. Okay, where to now? Logos for 200. This is the only NFL team without an emblem on its helmet. Jill buzzes in. Does she know the answer? The Cleveland Browns. Oh, that's right. Yep. Well, in all honesty, I wouldn't have gotten that one. Well, because they're just the color brown. That's all they are. They, they don't True. Really have a logo. Right on. Logos yeah. for 400. It is the name of the emblem on the New Orleans Saints helmets. Oh, wow, well, what is that thing? Oh, shoot. What is it? uh, it's this. Uh, it's a fleur de lis. Fleur de lis. Right, that thing, yeah. It's French, <laughs> yeah, so. Going on. Logos for 600. He was used as the model for the official NBA logo. Who is Corey Lawrence? <laughs> no, that's obviously not it. Jerry West. All right. Logos for 800. This sits atop the bat in the New York Yankees' crest. Jill. She doesn't know. She had an opportunity to take the lead away from me by $56 and blew it. Pika Rupa. Top hat. Top hat. Let's close that category out. The Senegal team's helmets featured three motor, three hypocycloids in the logo. Senegal team's helmets featured three hypocycloids on the logo. In the logo, excuse me. 
And that NFL team is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh. Pittsburgh Steelers. Two categories left. Origins for 200. One of the two daily doubles, and Jill's going to wager $233. Dr. James Naismith is credited with inventing this sport, and it's basketball. Yep. So she's at $1,589, and we're going on. Origins for 400. The Hick from French Lick. Who's Larry Bird? Alright. That's who we'll go with. Hello? Origins for 600. 3300 is what I have right now. They were the Seattle Pilots until 1969. Who are oh, the Seattle Mariners? All right. I will go with it. No, not the Seattle Mariners, unfortunately. It's all right. Yep. Or if it's just the Mariners, then that was, uh, that's all right. Let's find out if it was just the Mariners. No, the Milwaukee Brewers. Oh, the other uh, one. Uh, the Milwaukee shoot. Brewers. Who'd have thought? Shoot. That's all right. Origins 800. This sport borrowed terms from Axel Paulson's name. Sport borrowed terms from Axel Paulson's name. Uh, Jill. Figure skating. Oh, right. I get it. Well, let's get that category closed out. The other daily double. She's going to wager $736. Here's the clue. This major league club was named for Chief Lewis Francis Sock Alexis, and it's the Cleveland Indians. So now she's in the lead with $3,125. We have one category left, which is 1987. Let's start with a $200 clue. In 1987, this place kicker was the NFL's only active player lawyer. Who is Michael Batten? <laughs> No, that's obviously not it. Chris Barr. <laughs> He's gonna get you for that. I know. Chris Barr. Next. 1987 for 400. I wonder what Gary would say. <laughs> this former Auburn forward was named NBA Rookie of the Year in 1987. Let's see if Jill knows this. Chuck Person. Never heard of them. Three clues left. She held every woman's record between 8,000 meters and 10,000, 800 meters and 10,000 meters in May. She doesn't know. And I sing it once again. I'm getting cocky. I'm getting cocky. I'm getting cocky. La 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 la. Mary Decker Slaney. Next clue. Dancers. 
Boxing promoter Bob Arum wrestled with this promoter after the Leonard Hagler fight. Don King. Last clue. Before we go to final, Jeopardy. This fell from Joe Necro's Nick pocket after an umpire suspected him of scuffing. It was an emery board. Alright, let's go to Final Jeopardy. Let's find out what our category is. The Final Jeopardy category is... College conferences. So I have 2700. I know how much I'm going to risk. Nothing. <laughs> the clue is of Texas, Texas A&M, or Texas El Paso, the one who does not belong in the Southwest Conference. I'm going to say what is Texas El Paso. I'd be guessing, though. Well, Jill got it wrong. <laughs> it was Texas El Paso. I got it right. Wow. So I stay at $2,700. Jill drops the $28, so I get to start a run. Of Jeopardy Sports Edition for the Sega Game Gear. Catch you all next time, peeps.